there is also a strand of opinion in Pakistan that doing business with the BJP makes it more sustainable. China is also very keen on an extradition treaty with Nepal so that the free Tibet movement people who are in Nepal that they can get them back. The IMF and Pakistan is the longest lasting love affair ever known to mankind. But Nikha it ends jo... up in a divorce after every program. Then it comes out, then it divorces. In is Pakistan more hopeful of an India alliance? Instead of dealing with a strong government, one party government, they would rather deal with as in the past, you know, coalition government pulling in uh, different directions. The Indian government uh, invited 25 global parties to observe these elections. No invitations extended to China and Pakistan. I think if the Chinese had come and learned how a democracy is run, it wouldn't have been a bad idea. With uh, Sheikh Hasina, she has very warm ties with the Gandhi family. But she seems to be very warm ties even with Narendra Modi. Mr. Modi has a, a very friendly style in a 10-year-long association. The Two blips in the relationship, which I think in the next term, China is building a barrage on the Tista, about 100 kilometers from the border, which is also very close to the chicken's neck. The second issue is the India Out campaign, which BNP has started. Mr. Modi had made these very emotional appeals to Nepal, but then again, you have the China angle out there. Nepal will also try to see where its interests are, whether it can get something out of China as well and something out of India, sometimes by playing the two against each other and sometimes by simply getting something out of India and something out of China.